So this is social distancing. So insane, so funny that a pair of words has never been used, well, I won't say never, has not been used <laughs> together very much. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go with never. I've never used the word social distancing in my entire life until like a couple weeks ago and I don't really use them much now, but I guess that's what we're doing. This is Tim Ead here. Hello everybody, my friends, my, you're really family too. Uh, it's a very unique day. You could call it bad, you could call it horrible, you could call it awful, you could call it whatever. I could call it fantastic, I could call it spectacular. And you'd be like, why is that spectacular? Is it? I don't know. Things happen and it's up to us to interpret the meaning behind what happens and the opportunity within that moment. So what I mean by that is it's only your judgment or mine that makes us say that something's bad or good. Because follow this now, what seems to be really, really bad can turn out to be the best thing ever. And what seemed to be the greatest thing that happened to you in hindsight wasn't very good. And even so right now, something that may be feeling not so very good about money, about people, about life is a turning point in your life. And maybe the best thing that's ever happened to you. And one thing is certain. One thing is certain. One thing is certain, which is that I have never seen and there has not been anything on such a global basis of what I would call a global energy shift. There is no question that the energy has shifted and what I mean by that is everybody's been in their places complaining about dumb crap, uh, moaning and groaning about struggle or whatever it is that the average person does thinking that things are really tough and now all of a sudden they're like, oh, now I might not get any toilet paper. I don't know what to do if I don't get hand sanitizer. I may die just from the fear of not having <laughs> hand sanitizer and I may die from coronavirus. I may die from fear of coronavirus. And it's usually the fear of something that causes the symptoms, the, the, the effects. So the cause is the fear. The cause isn't necessarily the coronavirus or whatever is the, the, the problem of the day. But nothing's infiltrated so many countries, so many people at one time and caused a shift from complacency and from complaining to fear, to uncertainty, to anxiety, to worry. And I read today that people are lining up to buy guns. Look, relax. I'm relaxing. I am taking a read. Now, this is probably going to come across backwards because... Uh, uh, my, my front, front facing camera is going right now, but I'm reading, rereading a really gold gilded copy of a timeless book called Think and Grow Rich. You're like, why are you reading that? I've heard of that before. Thanks a lot for the old information, Tim. If you haven't read it, read it. If you haven't read it lately, read it. If you haven't read it three times per the author, Napoleon Hill, you need to read it three times or more. Bob Proctor's been studying it every year for probably close to 60 years. He's 85, um, one of my mentors. I say that to say this, find something productive to do. This is my, uh, this is my drug of choice. It is high pH water, the sun. Wait a minute, take it easy, baby. Tuli or tulip, say hi. It's my little baby here. So I'm really not completely in self-quarantine. I'm self-quarantining myself. Um, and I really, I wanna invite you to some place where you haven't been for a while. And I wanna just remind you of the possibility that exists in this moment, which maybe you're aware of, but maybe you weren't thinking about it and just bring it to your awareness, which is that so often to make our lives take a different turn, we're hoping that the energy will shift somewhere around us. The government will do something different, the economy, Wall Street, the housing market, getting a tax refund, whatever it is. This is the most 
major exterior shift that has occurred in your lifetime thus far? Could, could something more happen? Yeah, there's all kinds of things. I'm going to go into that. But there's nothing bigger that's happened and shifted. If you've been waiting for that, wait no more. Now you're like, oh, okay, well, that's not enough. Yeah, you're right, it isn't, because the next shift that has to happen, the biggest shift is from within. And so often, when we don't have coronavirus and beaches closed and restaurants and everything under the sun, the gym is closed, when all these are not closed, you're constantly saying, I don't have enough time, I don't have enough money, this isn't gonna work for me. And guess what? This is your time to be a scientist. This is your time to to do you. And I saw Scott Powell posted something earlier today that said our grandparents were called to go to war and you're being called to sit on your couch. And that was kind of funny, Scotty. And what's cool about that is that we act like that's some kind of a hardship or that now we have to sit on our couch and do nothing. We have to take a nap the whole entire time. And believe me, I love the nap. We have to watch TV. Okay, watch something, but don't do just that. Take this time now to turn a corner, to do something different, to become someone new. The world is becoming something new day by day, second by second, right before your very eyes. And sometimes we don't see and experience the shift because it's happening in real time. But if you look back a month ago, nobody was talking about any of this stuff. You could go anywhere and get anything you wanted within reason and there was no fear other than the normal stupid fears. Oh, I'm gonna die, people are gonna laugh at me, I'm not gonna have enough money, I'm gonna get sick, I'm gonna be alone. Sorry, someone just called in <laughs> during my video and interrupted it, which is totally fine. Uh, and I'll call him back. So I'm gonna splice it together right here so you'll see a little uh, I just wanted to finish my, my moment with you because even though we're in self-quarantine, we're together and we're all, we're all in this big fishbowl together. And you could look at it as a punishment. You could look at it as a restriction. You could look at it as an imprisonment. But you could also look at it as an opportunity. You could look at it as a responsibility. You could look at it that this is the door just flung wide open and the alarms are off and you could run right out the door right now and you couldn't a month ago. The things that were imprisoning you then, if they're still imprisoning you now, I assure you that these things are not external then. They're not out here in the world, they're in you. So if you haven't gotten freed a month ago when coronavirus wasn't the, the, the most oft word used worldwide, when it wasn't, if, if you were in prison then and you still feel in prison now, then what has to change for your life to change and be in an upward, major upward trajectory the way that you want it? You have to change and you have to make what's called Write this down. It's a very fancy word. I know you haven't heard of it before, so you're gonna to wanna to write this down. Make a decision. Decide. Decide. To decide, to make a decision comes from the Latin word where the root means to cut off, to cut off any other possibilities. Carmenetics is coming. And what that means is I, I wanna share what I've been learning what I've been experiencing so that you can envision yourself as I've been doing as a lighthouse you know the old school lighthouses and they would be there by the sea and the sea was crashing and colliding with the shore and smashing waves after wave after wave and the sky is turbulent and you're an oasis of calm of steadfastness, of peace, of tranquility and serenity. That's you. In the midst of all that, you are the lighthouse and I'm the lighthouse. We got to start there. It doesn't start out here. This is going to be sunny days and turbulent days, metaphorically speaking. And it's a beautiful day today. What you're doing, go pick up the book, pick up the dog, Pick up the pillow, pick up the remote, but when you're done with all that, open your mind and open your heart because nothing's gonna come into a closed mind or a closed heart.
okay? Tim Eat here. I'm gonna go back to what I was doing. Love you. Can't wait to see you somewhere soon. And if not there, here. <laughs> I'll see you later. Enjoy your day and be safe. Don't worry. Worry brings fear and fear is the opposite of faith. Have faith. Thank you. Have a great day. See you soon. So long for now. Ha <laughs> ha.